So in my seventh grade math class, I was trying to solve an issue where students often don't have time to talk through their problem. Uh, or you know, you ask one student to, to share how they did it, they did it, and you move on for the sake of time. So I was looking for an application where I could use technology inside the classroom as well as outside of the classroom for students to speak their math thinking and then hopefully have other students follow their same process. Uh, at the 2015 Digital Literacy Institute, I came across an app called Flipgrid and Flipgrid allows students to post a video response, short video, 90 seconds, in which it gets posted and then other students can go back and see that video response. So most recently in my classroom, I took the math practices and focused on perseverance and understanding problems. So with that, the idea was is that they had to, as a small group, understand and make sense of a problem and then persevere by writing a plan of basically attack on how they were gonna get a solution for that problem. Each group then was responsible to record a response uh, that was moderated by myself, so they didn't have the opportunity to see any other student responses on Flipgrid until I unlocked those videos. And now we are focusing on SMP3, which is constructing viable arguments and critiquing others of their thinking. And students now have gone back into the Flipgrid app and are watching videos and filling out a feedback form. The application and the use of technology has allowed for me to break down the four walls in my classroom instead of being able to critique just the students in that particular class in those 45 minutes. I'm having students critique across the 95 students on my team and see the different levels of thinking based on the advanced math class, based on the resource class, based on the regular math classes, and actually allows the students to see that sometimes those regular lower level students in terms of what their ability appears to be, they're actually communicating their process much better than the kids who get the math very quickly. We're allowed to see different um, kids' thought processes, but recorded, so then we get to help them to see if they made a mistake or if we made a mistake on our thought process. So the next step was James starts talking. So James, James, James explains where, how he gets 10. Okay, so this means that... Um, so they basically solve for X. Yeah, they solve for X now, so they have multiplication. The availability of students collaborating on any topic across the disciplines and being able to problem solve and add on to each other's ideas really, again, takes this idea of accountable talk in our classrooms and broadens it. It can break down the walls in even the ELA classroom and students could make applications to social studies and, and be a little bit more cross content. I've also found that it allows the students who are a little bit less vocal in their groups to become contributing members when I say, you know, you have to be a little bit more than just the person in charge of the camera. You all have to be a part of the video response because it's your group and you can help coach each other as you go through that process.